There's growing anger in Russia over the forced mobilization of men to fight in the war in Ukraine. President Putin had said the call-up was a temporary measure, but today the Kremlin refused to say when it'll end. As Russian forces struggle to hold territory in Ukraine, men with no military experience are being sent to the front line to fight and often to die. Our Russia editor Steve Rosenberg reports. This is the picture the Kremlin is trying to paint. Putin, the strong man. The caring commander-in-chief. And Russians lining up to do their patriotic duty, mobilized to fight in Ukraine. These alleged recruits are well equipped. But these aren't. For weeks now, mobilized Russians have been complaining of a lack of resources and training. These men say they've been given old guns and no helmets or body armor. Mobilization has sparked deep alarm in Russian society. This human rights group is giving advice on what to do if your loved ones are sent to the front line. As you can see, it's packed. The Kremlin says that more than 200,000 reservists have been called up to fight. With mobilization, what is happening in Ukraine has suddenly become very real for the Russian public. Now, the Kremlin wants Russians to believe that those people who have been drafted into the army are being sent off to defend the motherland. But not everyone here believes that. The voice belongs to Mikhail Ashichev. 500 miles from Moscow, he told the local military draft office he wasn't going to fight because there was no threat to Russia. Mikhail insists that if Russia truly needed defending, he would rush to volunteer. He considers himself a patriot. But he doesn't believe in this war. He won't fight Ukraine. When mobilization was being discussed, I agreed with my family that if such a situation arose, I would refuse even if they sent me to prison. If I had to, I would choose prison. The state will consider me a criminal if I don't go to fight in this war. But I won't be a criminal from the point of view of humanity or myself. After his refusal to fight, Mikhail has received some abuse on Russian social media. But what is interesting is that he's had plenty of support, too, for his decision to take a moral stand. Steve Rosenberg, BBC News, Moscow.